Welcome. This is your friend, Saranja the Great Prophet. I'd like to talk a little bit today about what I refer to as Tesla's biomimetic approach to autonomous driving and why I believe we are on the verge of tremendous success in this arena. I've had different people ask me what I mean by a biomimetic approach. Before I get into that, I would like to take a moment to to promote Saranja.com. It's a skincare company. It's not my company. I have nothing to do with it. It's some young relatives of mine who were kind enough to allow me to use their name. Uh, I'm, there's nothing nefarious about me not wanting to identify myself. I'm just very well known in certain circles and wanted to maintain my anonymity. And so they were kind enough to allow me to use the name. And so in return, as an act of reciprocity, I would like to promote their product. Uh, they make a, a West African shea butter. It's a special recipe that was developed decades ago and passed on from generation to generation. And as far as uh, a skin moisturizer, there is nothing better out there. It is all natural. It is like magic on a sunburn. So if you're going to a warm tropical climate, you're going to want to take Saranja shea butter with you. It will literally save your skin. So I've had people offer to send me things. I don't need anything, really. I don't need anything. But if you could uh, support these kids, buy their product, promote their company, that would be all the all the thanks that I would that I would ask for. So Tesla's biomimetic approach to autonomous driving. The word biomimetics is actually a combination of two Greek words: the Greek bios or bios, which means life, from which we get English words like biology or the study of life, the study of nature, and the other word is mimesis, which is the Greek word for imitate, from which we get the English word mimic. So biomimetics is the imitation of nature. The most incredible designs are found in nature. Many of our best inventions are copied from or are already in use by other living things. Uh, you may not be aware of this, but back in the 1940s, there was a Swiss engineer by the name of George Demestro who uh, took his dog for a walk. And when he got home, he noticed that the dog's fur was full of burrs. And so he was intrigued and he took those burrs and he put them under a microscope and he could see how the hooks on those burrs would latch onto anything that had a loop. And within a few years, what developed? Well, it's what we today refer to as Velcro. Around the turn of the century, uh, Orville and Wilbur Wright uh, were ridiculed by others. In fact, the, the New York Times, who, for inventing the airplane, the New York Times at the time said it would be a million years before a flying machine was invented. But by observing the flight patterns of birds, Orville and Wilbur Wright were able to invent that flying machine, that airplane, a million years in advance, despite what all of the naysayers had to say about the subject. And the Eiffel Tower itself, it uses the same basic principles. The construction of the Eiffel Tower uses the same basic principles that allow the, the, the human thigh bone to support the body weight. And we could go on and on and on in all of these examples of biomimetics. Now, what does that have to do with Tesla and its autonomous driving system? Well, if you watched Autonomy Day back in April of 2019, you remember when when Elon uh, famously and humorously exclaimed to a room full of skeptical and frankly ignorant stock market analysts, LIDAR is a fool's errand. <laughs> and then he goes, you'll see, savage. And so it was clear from the presentation on Autonomy Day that Tesla was moving to a vision-based driving system. You see, the media has conditioned most people to believe that Waymo is the leader in autonomous driving using LiDAR, which acts pretty much like radar, but it sends out light waves instead of radio waves. But in order for it to work, it has to be within a geofenced area. That's why I often refer to as Waymo as a, a high-tech rail. Because in order for it to work, it has to work within a limited system that has been previously mapped. And then with very expensive LiDAR, sending out light waves, bringing about autonomous driving. And so that's why when you see people who claim to be experts in the media say, oh, well, autonomous driving is at least 10 years away. Yeah, following that pattern, because it would take 10 years to geofence or map out all of the roads in the United States and use LiDAR to achieve autonomous driving. But here's the thing. Humans don't use LiDAR to drive. They don't use radar for that matter. Humans use two cameras and one supercomputer. 
two cameras being your eyes and the supercomputer being your brain. The entire infrastructure, the entire road system is based on vision only driving, pure vision driving. Humans don't use these other things. We're not bats. We're not birds. We use two cameras and a computer. Well, Tesla is bringing about a process that uses eight eyes and a computer, a computer that even has a backup, a computer that doesn't get distracted that doesn't get drunk, doesn't text, doesn't watch movies, doesn't look at Instagram, doesn't look at Twitter while they're driving. So this process of pure vision is the way forward. And if you own a Tesla, if you've used autopilot for many years, I, I've been using it since it first came out. If you have full self-driving, you have seen with your own eyes the incredible progress that has been made in such a short period of time. Now, going back to this idea of a vision-based system, I remember when Elon said that. He said, LiDAR is a fool's errand. But I knew at the time that my car, that Teslas, were still using radar. And this whole presentation on Autonomy Day was about moving over to a vision-based system. And so it was from that point that I began to suspect that radar were the training wheels on the bicycle. Uh, training wheels, you know, if you're, well, if you're as old as I am, they didn't have training wheels. You just, you know, they just, you just went on your bike and if you fell, you fell. But when people started caring about their kid's safety more, well, they developed training wheels. But you know, when a, when a kid gets to the point that he can really ride a bike, those training wheels become more of an impediment than anything else. And so I began to suspect that radar was the training wheels for autonomous driving. And when radar was removed from Tesla's autonomous driving platform, we would be moving on to the next stage. The training wheels were coming off. And from what I can see, my determinations and what I see in human behavior, we are on the verge of something huge. When Tesla removed radar, they took off the training wheels. We're just about there. Now here's the point. The stock market is very forward looking. By the time there is an actual robo taxi business, uh, this will have <laughs> the 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 sh the the massive short squeeze and rise in Tesla stock that I've had on my pin tweet for all this time will have come and gone. The stock market is very forward looking. Here's the thing, and I'll talk about this maybe in well maybe I'll talk about this in a, in a future in a future video. But the media, I'm getting back on the media again, but uh, you know, there, you'll see why. If I get if I do the next video, you'll see why I'm talking so much about the media. But the the media 